Solar Edge Energy Bank, N Phase IQ Battery. Which home energy storage system is going to give you the best performance and the most reliability for your home emergency backup system? We're going to be discussing those topics and much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, here at Solar Surge, we use clean renewable energy, solar power, and battery backup systems as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, on Solar Surge, you're going to find a lot of educational videos showing you how different aspects of a home renewable energy system work, uh, as well as product comparison videos where we do head-to-head -head comparisons of different leading products in the marketplace. Now, in today's video, I'm proud to bring to you a head-to-head -head comparison of the new Solar Edge Energy Bank battery and the Enphase IQ battery system. Now, Solar Edge and Enphase, if you recall our video from last week, are really the top two brands when it comes to residential solar power systems. And that really was because of their inverter systems, not so much from their battery systems. The batteries are a relatively new development, uh, only coming to market in the last year or so. But Solar Edge and Enphase have been, for the past five years or more, the top two residential inverter brands if you're looking at solar here in the United States. Now, one of the trends that started to shift, I would say probably going back to 2018, 2019, was that there was a significant portion of solar homeowners that were demanding some kind of an energy storage along with their solar power system. Uh, and the reason for that was because, really two reasons. One is people that wanted an emergency backup power. Uh, if you want to be able to run your home independent of the grid, whether there's a blackout or you know, it could be cyber attack or what have you, if you don't want to be solely reliant on the electric grid, then adding battery backup to your solar system would allow you to run the home independent of the power grid day or night, where you can run off solar during the daytime, draw off the battery during evening hours, and then let the solar panels recharge the battery the next day. So you can continue that cycle as long as you need for backup power. The other reason is for people that want to take advantage of time of use avoidance. So for those of you that are watching from the West Coast with utility companies like PG&E and SoCal Edison that charge really onerous uh, on-peak utility rates, you can avoid consuming from the utility during those peak hours by drawing those energy from your battery and then oftentimes you can recharge that battery in the middle of the night when you can do the cheaper off-peak rates. So in any case, today we're going to be showing you two of the leading solar home battery manufacturers and two of the leading home battery brands, the Solar Edge Energy Bank and the Enphase IQ battery system. Let's get into the comparison. All right, we're going to be doing the evaluation along five categories, just like we usually do, and those categories are power, including both continuous power and peak power for motor starting. We're going to be looking at the energy storage capacity of the battery, uh, of course the warranty on each battery, uh, the cost of getting one of these batteries installed, and then finally what I like to call the X factor. Uh, and what the X factor is, is a way that we can award additional points for unique architectural features of the product where there, there may not be a direct one for one comparison, but where it could have tremendous impact for you as a system owner in terms of performance and capabilities. All right, before we start evaluating each product, let's give a little bit of background about these two battery storage systems. The first thing I should mention is that the Solar Edge is a DC coupled battery storage system versus the Enphase, which is an AC coupled battery storage system. Now, if you recall from some of our previous videos, DC coupled battery systems tend to perform more efficiently when operating in a grid down mode. Uh, and the reason for that is because you can take direct DC power, direct current coming off your solar panels and bring that directly down to charge your battery without having to go through any kind of conversion or transformation process. Remember guys, every, every time you do a power conversion or a transformation, you lose a little bit of that energy as heat and so it's not as efficient. So DC coupled is going to give you better performance or more efficient battery charging when you're off grid. The AC coupled solution, on the other hand, 
It, and, and really with Enphase, it's designed to work with AC power coming off of Enphase microinverters that are already on the roof. Um, the nice thing about the AC coupled architecture is that oftentimes uh, it makes it a little bit easier to retrofit if you're adding battery backup later on because you can do all the wiring at the AC circuit breaker panel. You don't necessarily have to adjust the solar wiring on the roof. The other thing I should mention is that both of these really are designed to be closed systems. Now in the past we've seen more modular architecture where you can choose your inverter and then maybe pair that inverter with a different battery. But now that we're looking at both the Solar Edge Energy Bank and the Enphase IQ system, these are designed to stay within brand, all within one brand and within one monitoring app from end to end. So if you go with the Solar Edge uh, Energy Bank battery, typically you're going to use the Solar Edge Energy Hub inverter with that. Uh, be sure to watch our video about the Energy Hub inverter coming up uh, later next week, um, as well as the Solar Edge DC optimizers on the roof and the Solar Edge monitoring app. So that's going to be one closed integrated system. And then same thing with the Enphase IQ system now. It's designed to work with Enphase microinverters on the roof, the Enphase Enlightened monitoring app, and the Enphase IQ batteries, as well as the, what they call the Empower smart switch, which is Enphase's version of an automatic transfer switch. Uh, and then finally, know that each of these battery systems is expandable. So although in today's comparison, we're gonna be looking at the specs for a single one-for-one -one battery installation, you can add multiple batteries to the system. Uh, some people even have three or four batteries to achieve the level of backup power that they're looking for, especially if they're looking for like a whole house type backup solution. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the evaluation. All right, up first is the Solar Edge Energy Bank battery. Now in terms of power rating, the Energy Bank can provide continuous power of 5,000 watts with surge power up to 7,500 watts for 10 seconds. Now guys, again, you'll recall that the surge power is important for those of you that are intending to run heavy loads like uh, well pump motors or air conditioning compressors. Having additional surge power is important because when those, those appliances first kick on, there's a huge inrush of current that it takes to get that motor started and up to speed, and then it will level off to a, a lower continuous draw level. Uh, the same thing even happens with a refrigerator when the compressor first turns on, although the modern compressors have a little bit better throttle control, but you, you, know, you typically have that same startup surge when the thing is first uh, turning on. Now in terms of storage capacity, you're going to get 9.7 kilowatt hours of capacity per energy bank battery. So you're going to find that that's on par with a lot of the home battery products right around that 10 kilowatt hour level. Uh, in terms of warranty, the Energy Bank does come with that 10 year warranty, which we're, we're seeing with a lot of the leading battery products as well. Uh, and in terms of cost, it is middle of the road in terms of cost. Now I know a lot of you out there want to know what's the specific price, and that, that does vary depending on what state you're in and which installer we choose to do the installation. But if you're looking for a ballpark figure for budgeting, you can figure that spending about $15,000 total for the battery, the switches, everything installed uh, above what you would pay for a comparable solar only installation. And then in terms of the X factor, I'm gonna give the Energy Bank and the Solar Edge plus four X factor points. And it really has more to do with the Solar Edge Energy Hub inverter than it does with the battery itself. The battery itself is really just storage, but the Energy Hub inverter is what allows you to utilize that energy storage to power your home system. And so with Solar Edge not only providing backup power from the battery to the home, but also adding on additional features and capability, like for example, uh, an EV charger hookup. So if you wanted to be able to, to charge your electric vehicle directly off of solar, even during a blackout, the Energy Hub system allows you to do that. Um, also, the generator hookup option. Uh, and those of you who've been following the channel may know that for those of you who are uh, preparing for a prolonged grid down event and you want protection from that kind of event, we recommend having a generator hookup option so that in a worst case scenario, if the utility power's down, if your, your solar is beginning to drain down because let's say the weather's overcast for, for that week, you could plug in a generator and recharge your solar batteries that way. So it gives you the double benefit. You're never gonna run out of power and you don't have to run your generator all day long where you're burning a lot of fuel. So with the Solar Edge Energy Bank and Energy Hub Inverter System, you have those additional capabilities available to you as well. 
Hey folks, as always, if you're in the process of evaluating solar options for your house and you haven't gotten a quote yet or you'd like to talk to a professional, you can always reach out to us on the link below, schedule a short virtual consultation with one of our system designers and just see what the options look like for you and your home. All right, let's take a look at the Enphase solution now. All right, next up, we're looking at the Enphase IQ battery system. And yes, guys, Enphase did change the name of their battery from N-Charge to IQ battery. And again, that really speaks more to the fact that this is designed to be an integrated system. This is not a modular battery. This is designed to be used as one part of the overall uh, Enphase IQ home energy system, consisting of the microinverters, the smart switch, the battery, uh, and in some cases, the load control system as well, which I'll talk about in a moment. Now, in terms of power output, for each Enphase IQ10 battery, you can get continuous power output of 3.84 kilowatts or peak power surging up to 5.7 kilowatts. Now, you'll notice that's not quite as much continuous or peak power as what you get from the Solar Edge battery. And the reason for that, guys, is the difference in battery chemistry. You see, Enphase uses the lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which a lot of times they'll market it as it's the safer chemistry. And in theory, it is. There's less risk of thermal runaway. However, the downside of the lithium iron phosphate is that it doesn't provide as much surge power. It's also heavier and bulkier, but it doesn't provide as much surge power, which can really be a detriment to you if you're trying to start up heavy loads like air conditioning compressors. And so that's why the Solar Edge Energy Bank uses the more popular lithium NMC chemistry, which is what you can find in most electric vehicle batteries. That's why electric vehicles are able to accelerate so fast is because the batteries allow for rapid discharge or high surge power output. Now in terms of storage capacity, each IQ10 battery can store 10.1 kilowatt hours of usable energy. So it is slightly higher than what the energy bank can store, although it's virtually right, right, you know, equal around that 10 kilowatt hour mark, but slight advantage here to the IQ battery. In terms of warranty, it does come again with that sort of industry standard 10 year warranty. Uh, and in terms of cost, again, I think you'll find the IQ battery middle of the road in terms of cost, or to give you, you know, a figure, about $15,000 total installed cost when you consider the cost of the battery, the smart switch, um, and then the wiring and the, the additional labor to put all of that together into a home backup system. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm also going to give the Enphase system plus four points. Uh, and the Enphase system really has some unique capabilities. The first is automatic load control, which if you scroll down here, with the Enphase system, you can essentially set your entire house up for battery backup. And if you got to a situation where the battery was not able to power the entire house simultaneously, then it'll just power down your lower priority items for you automatically to prevent the system from overloading and shutting down completely. And all of that can happen automatically based on the priorities that you set at the time of installation. You know, again, folks, if you're in the process of evaluating solar plus storage systems for your home and you haven't gotten quotes yet, or if you just want a comparison quote to see if you make sure you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can talk to one of our system designers where we're happy to quote either of these options or even other options that you might be looking at. So that's really our approach here, guys, is, is providing variety and helping homeowners to make sure that you're making an informed decision based on the product or the brand that really is going to be the best for you. Now, rounding out the discussion on X Factor for the Enphase, the Enphase system also has generator support, and they support over 20 of the leading backup generator systems. So again, if you're preparing for a long-term grid down event, and you want to make sure you have a backup to your backup so that you can recharge your batteries, even if the solar is not producing because of weather, then the Enphase IQ system allows for that capability as well. And then the one thing that Enphase does that nobody else is doing right now is what they call sunlight backup. And that's for people that maybe you don't want to uh, absorb the cost of installing a battery system right now, but you want to have some backup power during daylight hours. Using Enphase's latest generation IQ8 microinverters, you actually have the option for sunlight backup power where you can run a small portion of your home directly off solar with no batteries as long as the sun is shining. Okay, so in summary, 
In terms of power, we're looking at 5 kilowatts continuous, 7.5 kilowatts peak with the energy bank versus 3.8 continuous, 5.7 kilowatts peak with the Enphase IQ battery. The energy bank comes in at 9.7 kilowatt hours in terms of energy storage compared to the 10.1 kilowatt hours you get with the Enphase battery. Both products have a 10 year warranty and both are virtually identical in terms of cost to have the product installed. Again, if you want a specific figure, about $15,000 over the cost of what a standard solar only installation would be. And then of course, both products receive plus four X factor points for those additional capabilities like being able to hook up a generator, um, in SolarEdge's case, being able to hook up an electric vehicle charger, or in the case of Enphase, being able to do automatic load control for your home so you can have whole house backup without having to, to buy tons and tons of batteries and jacking up the price. So if we total it up, I'm gonna award Energy Bank four out of five on power, three out of five on capacity, five out of five on warranty, four out of five on cost, plus four X factor points for a total of 20 points. On the Enphase side, I'm gonna award three out of five for power because it is slightly underpowered being that lithium iron phosphate chemistry versus the lithium NMC. Four out of five for storage capacity since it does have slightly higher storage capacity, five out of five for warranty, four out of five for cost and plus four X factor points for also a total of 20 points. So folks, if the question you're asking for is which battery is better, like with many of my comparison videos, the answer really is it depends. And which is the right solution for you based on your requirements? So for example, uh, if you already have solar, let's say you already have solar and you already have Enphase microinverters on your roof, uh, adding the Enphase IQ battery might make the most sense for you since those systems can interop interoperate with each other. You wouldn't have to throw any equipment away. However, if you're looking at a brand new system or if you live in a rural area like I do, where you have to power not just your refrigerator and your lights in your office, but you have uh, water pump motors and other heavy loads that need to be powered, then you might want to take a look at the Solar Edge system because of its higher power output capacity. So folks, this has been a presentation of the Solar Edge Energy Bank and the Enphase IQ battery systems. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we put out on the channel, please go ahead and click the like button and that way YouTube and the other sites know to go ahead and show this video to more people. Uh, and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We've, we've upped our production rate. We're now trying to get three videos out every week. So if you're in the process of evaluating solar options for your home uh, and you like the information here, make sure you subscribe so that as we publish the new videos, it'll come up on your feed. Uh, and then of course, if you need a comparison quote or if you need, need to get your first quote just to see what the numbers and what the savings would look like for your home, then feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, you can schedule a short virtual call with one of our team members here and just chat through you know, what the options are. There's no obligation to do anything with it. It's just really numbers for you. Uh, but if it is something you're looking to have installed, then of course we can go ahead and get the process started for you right away. Well folks, I thank you for turning in to Solar Surge again today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.